I'm on the motorway in real life, wearing a virtual reality headset on the motorway. This is a proper, proper mind f Welcome to the future of driving, also known as being driven. And as much as we hate to admit it, autonomous cars are being developed right now by companies like Tesla, Volvo and Renault. One of the most advanced autonomous cars today is the Mind Off Level 4 Equipped Symbios. A vehicle that makes the Level 2 Equipped Tesla suddenly look a bit like a horse and cart. So what do you say we get straight into this? You may remember about two years ago, I drove a Tesla Model S in autopilot mode on the UK motorway at 70 miles an hour. The important thing to remember about that is that the Tesla Model S is level two autonomy mode. This car, the Renault Symbios, is level four. You can effectively completely switch off and the car will tell you how many kilometers or how, how many miles you can completely switch off for. And if for any reason you need to take over, then, then it will prompt you to do that. And if you don't do that, then the car will pull over in a safe place. But we're going to start off in the, uh, in the Symbios con concept car in manual mode. I'm going to drive it. Uh, it has 680 horsepower to the rear wheel, so it's rear wheel drive. I'm not allowed to do any burnouts or anything. Though. No, you're not. Okay, <laughs> sorry. There's, there's only one in the world, so I've got to be very careful. I have a couple of Renault guys uh, in the car with me. Anthony behind me, who's basically going to tell me to slow down and stop being an idiot. Sebastian, who has this cool, like, retro 80s style sticks and levers and stuff. So uh, if anything does go wrong with the car, then he can take over and, yeah basically save our lives, but that won't happen today. Maybe we can uh, drag race some Teslas. Is that, is that allowed? So you can activate the technique mode by pressing the logo now if you want. And yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty quick. What we're going to do now is going to go into full autonomous mode, holding these two buttons where your thumbs are for two seconds. Exactly. Oh. And now you can let it go. I can turn around now, right? Yeah, you should be. Wow. I can literally just switch off and have a conversation with you guys. This is so much more than Tesla Autopilot because with Tesla Autopilot that you saw about two or three years ago. We changed lane. It's changing lane? Yeah, yeah. That's not you doing it? No, no, he's doing nothing. As I was saying, uh, Tesla Autopilot, you have to be alert. You can't really do anything else. And in the UK, you have to actually have your hands on the steering wheel, which kind of defeats the object of having an autonomous car. Here in this level four car, you can pretty much do what you like. Ethan, tell me your thoughts. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> the thing with the Tesla is you have to... To trigger, yeah. ...when yeah. you want to go as well. Yeah. This is just, you're doing anything. So how do I set my top speed and how does it, does it just stick it's to auto hand? It's automatic based on the road signs yep. and based on the map. So it will, it will stick to 130 kilometers an hour, no, no higher. It's changing lane. Yeah. Uh, the windscreen wipers, I presume, will go on, even though it doesn't really matter because I don't really need to worry too much about what's ahead of me, right? We have a toll coming up. You're not doing anything. No. I'm not doing anything. Wow, you are really working hard, car, aren't you? Yeah, actually, you can see how much correction it makes yeah. every second. Oh, très classe. And then we accelerate hard into the future. That is actually, crazy. That's pretty mad, isn't it? Yeah. There will be level five soon, which basically means that you will get into your car, might not have a steering wheel. You'll tell your car, I want to go to Ikea or wherever the hell you want to go, and it will take you there. And you basically don't need to do anything. Probably don't even need to have a windscreen with level five, do you? This is so weird. <laughs> Ethan, your face. Well, it's, it's basically like the step up from Tesla. Yeah. You don't do anything. Yeah. It does. Since yeah. we've got the motorway, we've got that. Yeah. What you probably can't see at the moment is that on the highway itself, there are uh, antennae. So there's five antennae on here. So in the central reservation, there are antennae and they talk to the car. I got the smartphone here. I can, dis I can pair it to my seat. And then if we want, we can watch a movie. We can watch movies as yeah. well. I'm being driven by a car and I'm in the driver's seat. How messed up is that? Look at that. This is so weird. But you know what? I feel completely at ease. Actually, I'm going to talk to this one because I feel completely at ease. Do you feel safer in the back seat of this than you would in the back seat would I be driving? Speak completely yeah, honestly. Because there's, it reacts. What? It reacts quicker than you do. 
Yeah. The car it's, reacts it's, quicker than you think. It seems. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Actually, it 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 evaluates the situation ten ten times a second. How many times do I evaluate a situation? One time every 10 seconds. <laughs> One time every 10 seconds, yeah, maybe that's fair. So what you're saying again is that the car is better than me? Uh, better than I've... all of us. Okay, merci à toutes. <laughs> and away we go. How crazy is that? And just to prove how badass this car is, um, I'm going to put my trust in it completely by putting on a virtual reality headset. So basically I'm in, I don't know, it could be Canada maybe. I've got a nice sun up there and I've got some nice tall trees to my right. I can't, I'm, I'm in a car by myself. Yeah. This is really odd. I'm on the motorway in real life wearing a virtual reality headset on the motorway. This is a proper, proper mind f How are you doing, Ethan? I can't actually see anyone here. It's gone really dark. I can see stars. Oh! So I am effectively in the future. I think I just, what is that? Oh, that is the steering wheel. Is it? Oh God, there's stuff coming at me. Oh Jesus, I'm flying. Shall I take it? It's weird because I've just been in a virtual reality car and now I'm driving the car real life. I feel that, like my brain is struggling with driving again. So nearly 50 kilometers just that. We've done nearly 50 kilometers. Again, because the car did most of the work, most of the driving itself. If you told me that we did 15 kilometers, I'd believe you. It will almost impact people like lorry drivers the most if they had this technology. So in 2023, when something like this is a production car, what kind of price do you think people will have to pay for something with all this technology? The, the reason for this date is that we think the technologies will be affordable by okay. then. So there are actually Let's say two major stakes. First, regulation, because right now this is not legal, and so we are working hard with the governments and so on to, to make it legal. And second, the technology is right now very expensive, and we think it will be affordable by then. So you said that this currently isn't legal. So how is it that I was able to be driven? We didn't tell anybody. <laughs> Just kidding. We went to discuss with the government to get a special authorization. Yeah. That's why you have Sebastian with this on your right. We've okay. got the following car behind us. A are you, are you a government representative? <laughs> if I if I talk too much, you're going to kill me. Depends on what you say. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, final thoughts. Huge, huge step up. I can't believe you said it's better than me, though. That's that's. <laughs> deeply hurtful. We've done, what did you say, about 50 kilometers? Yeah. And genuinely, those 50 kilometers felt more like 15 kilometers because for a big part of that, I was doing other things. I had a headset on, I was playing with my phone. It has actually made my brain hurt a little bit. And uh, yeah, come 2023, loads of people will be uh, getting driven around while doing other things. It makes a really boring motorway journey very, very bearable. So uh, bring it on. It's all right, Ethan, you got this. Just take your time. Got a bit of slack there. Got a bit of slack. Mm. You probably need to get that sorted out. Do you want me to? Do you want to have a little look at it after your test? I'll have a little check now. No, 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 no,